In this episode, I want to tell you about a free training that I'm giving. Three habits for introverts to find energy, joy, and calm. What is this free training and why did I create this training? Welcome to the Productive Introvert Community Podcast, helping ambitious introverts who feel deep down that they can add more value to the world to really thrive in their work. I'm Mariela Franker, and I'll be sharing what I'm learning as an introverted entrepreneur, a natural productivity coach, and a mom while I build my business online and take care of my family and myself. In this podcast, you'll learn the mindset and the practical steps to naturally increase the impact of your work while making space for your unique strengths as an introvert. Three habits for introverts to find energy, joy, and calm in their work and life so first of all the reason why i added life there at the end is because i used to think of work and life as two very separate things so um my work life was very very separated from my private life and i was very protective of that Things like um, sharing personal uh, things at work. You know, of course I would do that just talking to people one-to-one. But if I had a personal problem or I was struggling with something on a personal level, um, that, that was not allowed to be a factor in how I behaved or showed up at work in my own head, right? Because those two things are they're separate and um, there would I, I wouldn't like it to be any bleed over I had the impression that if I would actually um, share more of myself <laughs> and how I am uh, on a personal level at work that people would see me as less they would see me as less professional they would see me as um, less capable, they wouldn't take me seriously. Um, I I was just very concerned with that. And there were some signals from from my environment that I was getting around the topic, which which led me to feel kind of stressed out about that. But a lot of it was um, in my own head and the ideas that I had created around uh, professionalism and what work is and what life is and all that stuff. So a couple of years down the line now, and especially as an entrepreneur and working from home with a young family, I now know basically like work and life are not separated. Um, They are just different aspects of our own life you know of of us as a person and how the things that we do on a day-to-day basis it wasn't until i accepted those two halves of my life that they go together because we can pretend right we can pretend that our work doesn't influence how we feel uh in our private life and the other way around but we're human and everything that we experience has an influence on us and we can choose then how to deal with it and how to bring it into other areas of our lives or not (laughs) so my approach around productivity around habit formation um, around learning how to thrive as an introvert it's a it's quite a holistic approach and there are different sides to your personality that go together and make up you Uh, and it's kind of unfair to only consider one thing and not consider the other thing so maybe a question that comes up for you when i say that is okay well then why focus on introverts that's just one aspect of your personality why is why make that such a big deal And that's actually quite a a legitimate question, of course. Um, It's not my intention to kind of label anyone because when we focus too much on labels, it can actually, um, it can also create a false expectation. It can uh, feed into misconceptions and it can be just not helpful. (laughs) The reason why I do believe in speaking about introversion and what it's like to be an introvert 
in this way is because I've noticed through my own experience and with all the uh, beautiful people in Productive Introvert community that this part of your personality has uh, a lot of influence on the way that you move throughout your day. And that includes anything related to how you manage your energy, but also things related to uh, how you make decisions and even how you communicate like your communication style and the things that you look out for in a conversation. So having more insight into this part of your personality is very, very helpful to do these things in a more natural way and by extension being able to achieve the goals and the dreams that you have without feeling stress or pressure all the time to do things in in a way that just doesn't feel good to you. So I hope that kind of makes sense that I'm not trying to single out um, being an introvert as something, you know, superior or inferior or inf- <laughs> as something superior or inferior in any way. It is just a personality trait that doesn't usually get a lot of attention, but it can actually help you to make certain choices and to support your natural process in a way that helps you to thrive. At the beginning of the year, I challenged myself to do a free training every single month. And I did not know what I was getting myself into. I thought, oh, once a month, it'll be easy. It'll be so much fun. I'll do that. Um, And yes, it was a lot of fun. It was not that easy. So I've given 10 trainings this year, I think. I'll I'll have to check. These are the type of things that my mind does not keep track of. (laughs) But I I did about 10 of them. Uh, And massive learning experience. I will share some of the lessons I've learned with you uh, another time. When I've had time to decompress and kind of um, uh, give it all a home, you know. Two of them were guest trainings for another group, which is also really cool. And uh, I also launched the podcast in the middle of this year in July. So that one kind of um, replaced one of the masterclasses. Um, I've decided that this is going to be my last free masterclass, my last free training this year because I want to focus on a few other things for the rest of um, 2022. Now, why did I create this training specifically? It all started about a year ago, or maybe even two. But so when I first started, I was doing all the things that people said you should do. I was I was on all the social media platforms. I was, you know, posting twice a week or something like that. Even though I really, really believe in my business and in the message, the mission of my business to help introverts feel more confident and achieve their goals with ease. That core is what motivated me to keep going. But doing the day-to-day things was just exhausting for me at that stage. And that was when I was first kind of um, thinking about creating an online program. And um, I work really well when I'm able to talk to people directly, you know, and when I'm able to kind of ask questions and to get feedback on what is working and what isn't working for people. Because yes, I have my own experience and I definitely know how these concepts, how they've changed my life personally. Um, But I don't believe in a one size fits all solution. Not everything that I talk about is going to work for you. Um, And not everything that works for me will work for someone else. Because we're all a little bit different. We have different goals, we have different dreams and ideas, we have different lifestyles. And um, you need to find your way and kind of pick and choose the things that support all those things that you want to achieve uh, and that fit into the lifestyle that you have right now and the lifestyle that you want to have. So I really like to have that feedback and and talk with people about it. And at the time, I was hosting a Facebook group. Uh, I've since closed the group. 
if you've known me for a while, you will know why I did that. Um, I haven't shared it on a podcast yet, so I may do an episode about that another time. But I was hosting a Facebook group at the time and kind of dipping my toe in on different social media platforms. So I was using Facebook, Instagram, and LinkedIn at the time. So I was trying to get this feedback from people and I just did a a series of polls uh, across the platforms and I would talk to different people in the group. And what most people told me from all those efforts, the two main topics that people uh, told me that they struggled with were um, energy management and habit formation. So those have actually always been kind of the main topics that I focus my work around. And of course, a third topic for me is also around goal setting and working towards your goals. But those two were the main ones, energy um, and habits. So for this training, I decided to combine those two ideas in one free training. And there were three main things that helped me to stay focused and on track but coming from a place of energy, joy, and calm, rather than that stress and that hustle and that, oh, I gotta keep going, and it's not working. Um, So getting off that roller coaster, getting off that hamster wheel, and enjoying the process a lot more. So there are actually three things that help me do that. Setting boundaries around things that are important to you, making space for self-reflection, and recharging during the day, setting boundaries around things that are important to you rather than living according to expectations or the things that you think you should be doing. Like I thought I should behave in a certain way in order to be perceived as professional and to be taken seriously. We're also going to explore why micro breaks are like the secret energy booster for introverts um, and how you can use quiet time to tap into your strengths as an introvert uh, and support your self-reflective nature. This free training that I'm giving on October 21st, which is one day after this episode is... Uh, released. So you may hear about this after the live training um, has taken place. But if you're still interested to to um, see the training, you can still sign up for it and get the recording. Uh, and you'll have access to that for a month until November 21st. Find the link in the description next masterclass that you can use to sign up for that or you can go to my website to find it there. And that's thefrankermessage.com as always. In the masterclass, we are gonna go deeper into these three things and talk about them from a habit perspective. So how to create habits around um, setting boundaries, making time for self-reflection and resting during the day so that you can have more energy, um, joy, and calm in your work and life. Thank you for listening today and let's talk again next week. Thank you for listening to the Productive Introvert Community Podcast. If you're an introverted entrepreneur and you're ready to thrive in your own way, then connect with me on thefrankermessage.com slash content.